Hey everybody Ann here, sitting here in front of the chickens, having my coffee with all of you. It's been a rainy night, it's been raining this morning, the sun is coming in and out of the clouds though. Everything is full, basically, all of my rain bearers are full. Um, oh my goodness, who's that? Well, look who came out to play. I guess I'll go check the nest right now. She's kind of high strong when she first comes out of the coop. These priest fancy pants, doing such a good job. Only one white egg in there extra, and I got a leghorn sitting in one of the other boxes, so she's gonna lay. Um, I don't know when the other two brown egg layers are gonna lay, but last night, oh, I was in turmoil because you know I'm trying to separate flocks, and so instead of putting all the leghorns in there right now, Papa, don't knock stuff over. <laughs> um, I decided to keep the baby chicks separated a little bit longer until they're big enough. And then I could separate the flocks and make the permanent home, the little coop for the leghorns plus Tyson. But I could not get them to go up into the coop, you know, up into the new one because they're used to going into the van. But putting them in the van has become real trial and tribulation because all of the big birds will stand at the door and not let the little tiny baby chicks in. So I have to, you know, kind of brush the big hens out of the way and usher the little ones up there i get them in finally but um and i think it's just because there's so many chickens and for the space that's inside that van right now there's not enough space for all of them because the little chickens are are getting bigger so i tried to chase them around the yard i tried to capture them with nets and you know, papa goodness sorry he was jumping up on me there he is he's he's mad at me now Anyhow, um, so I was chasing around the chickens, trying to get them up in their coop, they wouldn't go. So I did some research on how to put chickens in a new coop and get them acclimated. And apparently, you just got to put them in there and leave them in there for some people say three days, some people say a week, some people say two weeks. So I couldn't get them up in there, so they all went into the van last night. So I prayed about it last night, and I got up this morning, and I'm like, this is going to be a great day. I don't care if it rains or not. And one thing I did do, well, I'll show you here in a minute. I took that tarp off the front. I don't need to capture any more rain in the chicken yard. Seriously, I just don't. Um, and I think it made them kind of scared to go in. So I've lifted that up and I just put some food in there and some treats and just let them do their thing. And do you know that after breakfast time, every single one of those little baby chickens had gone up into that coop and were just chilling out in the back. So I very quietly, gingerly stepped over there because as soon as they see me coming, they think I'm gonna give them food. So very quietly I did it and I was able to close the door so they are all up in their little coop. So that is great. There we go, yep. There's a nesting box over there. I put that little piece of siding because the chickens seem to like to lay best on something that has a back. Um, of course, they, these chickens are not going to lay in it, but I put some food in there. Their water is actually in the nesting box, so and I just pulled that up. I'm going to remove it here eventually. Um, one thing that I noticed is the way that I've got that tarp tucked, it, water is get, going down and underneath both sides. So I need to change that, and I need to reinforce the front and back areas with something, something other than what's there now. Um, the whole coop is lined with either chicken wire or that the chicken mesh. So um, I'm going to just see if they I can get them to stay in there. They tell you not to keep them cooped up for too long if it's going to get really hot outside, but it's going to be relatively cool today. Uh, it's going to get up there a little bit tomorrow and maybe a little bit the next day. But I have fans and I have solar, so... Okay, Leghorn, thank you for laying me an egg. So it's going to be working on this a little bit. Also, that van, you can't see in the, the front windows, but it is filled with junk. I am going to see if I can get all of that junk out and remove the seats, remove the carpeting, remove the headliner, and just see. Well, maybe leave the headliner in. I don't know. And just see if I can figure out another roosting area up there in the front. Weird big raindrops coming down and the sun is out. That's kind of pretty. I dig it. Can you see the raindrops? They're huge. They're just falling from the sunshiny sky. Weird.
what I've done so far is I just pulled this out and I stapled it down like this so that it would not leak underneath and I did cut a hole here because I want another access point because I'm gonna put a different roost in there I don't know if you can see this but there's just a a stick that's good but I want another one and I have an idea for it but I wanted more ventilation during the day so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna take this out just because I don't feel like it um, pull the flap out and then secure it somehow at the bottom overnight doesn't seem like the best thing but I think it'll be all right this is still the same uh, so hopefully that'll make it so well number one the bedding will stay in better and number two the rain can't get in but honestly I don't like any of this I don't like any of this at all I have another idea but this is why it's gonna stay at least for a few months come winter time I have a different idea but so far the chickens seem fine they're just chilling out and it, the the air in here is cool even though it's heating up outside I fed them a couple times they got water over there and they're doing just hunky-dory Miss Puss did get back on the nest which is good um, she's doing a good job hopefully this hands-off approach will make her want to sit more, but while I was doing all that chicken stuff, I remember, oh, I've got clean water in the in the sink over there, so I, because I washed out the wash tub, so I gotta do laundry, and I did do laundry, and it's all hanging up over here, drying in the sun. It is sunshiny, I can't believe it, so that's a good thing. I figure even if it rains overnight, again, that's fine. It's going to be another rinsing. I don't care. I got my unmentionals over there. <laughs> I'm not going to show you them because they're like, who wants to see granny panties? Seriously, gross. You know, it's getting hot. Um, I'm glad it, the temperature inside the little coop is okay. I've just got a couple more things I got to do. And then I will, they're going to stay in. They're, they're sleeping in there tonight. I will keep them in there. I don't know. You guys tell me. How long you think I should keep those chickens in there to rehome them into that coop? Because I'm really just unsure about it. Seems a little cruel to leave them in a whole week, but that might be what it might take. I don't know. Phew. I'm tired. I'll tell you what. This video, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it here because it's actually kind of late in the day. And uh, I'll show you what I did to the rest of the coop or the areas that I felt need to be reinforced for safety reasons tomorrow or the next day or whenever I get around to it because I'm tired. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.